Welcome to World Regression Week 2020. My name is Hazel Grogan and I live in Dublin, Ireland. And what a wonderful time it is to open and unleash your mind, especially at this critical time of awakening, when the world as we know it is changing at a rapid rate. We need to evolve and prepare ourselves for this new wave of energy. We need to release old negative thought forms that have been weighing us down and only plant positive thoughts in our mind that can only uplift and help us in our lives. We need to get rid of those old conditions and beliefs and only think more positively about our lives. In many schools across the globe, they are teaching them to meditate, teaching them kindness, compassion and gratitude and building them up with positivity. We need to also practice this ourselves on a daily basis, using affirmations like, I am love, I am whole, I am positive, I am joy, I am kind, I am abundant. Transforming our lives begins with how we think. Stop being the victim and be the victorious. Let go of those limited beliefs. So if you're to come to me for Reiki, that means you're being brought to me. Your guides or your team and spirit have led you to my door. That can be by a phone call, by a friend, by an email, or just finding me on the website or through social media platforms. When you arrive here, I know you're ready. So normally what happens is we sit and we have a little chat. We talk about your life and any worries and woes and trials and tribulations that you might be going through. You get a little bit about my life and uh, how I practice here. I'm a Reiki practitioner um, since 2006 in Ireland and I've been doing this a long time. So I have a lot of experience. I use this golden light that comes from source, this uh, universal life force energy, and it flows down through me. I'm the channel, so I don't like telling people that I'm a healer because I'm not. As I place my hands on you when you are here on the bed or on the massage bed, I allow the energy to flow down through my chakra system and out my hands. And it flows down into your crown chakra. That's the point at the top of your head. And as this energy flows down through you, we do a quick guided meditation at the start. It takes a few minutes and it guides this golden light down through you so you can visualize it and imagine it doing what it, it would do in your body. It normally goes down and cuts a roadway through your body like a golden river of light comes out to tips of your hands and flows down your body and out through the tops of your toes. You might have a spiritual experience, an emotional, mental experience. It works on all levels of the body. Most of my clients have an emotional experience when they come first. Within the first few minutes, they may cry, they may um, wail. They, I have clients who get up on the bed and from the depths of their soul, they cry. And then I have also clients who get up on the bed and for one whole hour snore away. So either way, I'm happy. If you're comfortable in my um, room here, that means uh, it's a compliment to me if you're snoring. I have a lot of my clients who are movers. So when I place my hands on the top of your head, the energy goes and works its way through your body. And sometimes that causes a physical reaction where the fingers and the arms start to move or the legs start to move. We call them movers. We have a lot of those here, um, especially because my auntie, my auntie Ethel, who taught me how to do Reiki, she's 40 years um, a Reiki practitioner, a Reiki master. So the energy is quite strong because her vibration energy was very big because of 40 years practicing and that's passed to me as her student. So the lineage of energy is a very strong lineage of energy and it's also uh, an energy that is really done from the heart. When I work, I work with the light. I work with my highest guides, the highest vibration. I bring in all of the golden light, the Jesus, I bring in Mary, I bring in all the saints, anyone who I pray to. So I have a big team in spirit who works with you on the bed. I also ask you to invite in anybody from spirit that you want to call in and they also help. So sometimes when I have you on the bed, you may be quietly asleep and you don't even realize the energy that's being released off you until you are leaving and walking out the door. In 2013, I had an experience where I started to channel and 
that was a very interesting experience uh, through meditation. I started to make sounds and I didn't know what they were. And after a while working with this energy, I realized that this is called light language. It's language of light. Sometimes the Catholics call it speaking in tongue, but I call it light language, the language of light. And it's the guides speaking through me as the channel. And sometimes when I'm working on somebody who I can't um, release that energy for them, the energy won't uh, come off the body as quick as I would like it to come off. I allow the guides to step in, especially if it's deeper energy and the energy flows down and it goes into the chakras and then the guides step forward and they start to use my hands as a tool and my hands will spin the chakras, my hands tap on the chakras and I also use my voice as working with tone and with uh, spiritual language. This spiritual language is something that I don't need to translate. They told me, my guide said that I don't need to translate it. I just need to speak it. And sometimes it speaks on a level to the soul of the person that's on the bed. So their soul gets it. The, the human person, the, the client that's on the bed, they wake up and say, oh my God, what was that? I felt it within my body. So that's enough for me. That's a validation that's working. So that's the added extras that I do in my service. Um, sometimes it doesn't work for people as in people get up on the bed and just come for that um, Reiki experience where they're lying very quietly on the bed. But sometimes if it's something really big and the guides know that the person can handle it, the guides step in and work through me. And it's something that I absolutely love doing i love seeing the per person's face when they get off the bed and they can't understand what has just happened to them whether it's through a friend that's given you my number whether it's through social media platforms or whether you just went on google one night and looked for healing i've been working doing my healing therapies since 2006 and i'm very experienced and there's nothing that's your that's going to happen with you that i'm not able for I've had all walks of life from young to old, from people who have come for just a healing, people who have come on their spiritual journey, people who are coming because they are awakened. They don't know why they've been brought to me. So if you turn up here, you're being brought to me by your guide. From the moment that we meet at the door, we set up a bond and a friendship that is everlasting. So I hope to see you soon. Namaste.